Mike Nearman. Here. Okay, I'd like to start out with, I understand we have some people who would like to speak in support of specific positions, so I'd like to do that now. Uh, who's going to do that? I know, Doug, you wanted to. Go ahead, start. Uh, just pick the individuals and say what committee they're going to be on. Okay, how's that? Okay, thank you. Um, Doug Hensel, representing the California Building Officials Association. Um, for the Accessibility Committee, um, we'd like to support Jay Salazar as a local government building official. For Plumbing, Electrical, Mechanical, and Energy, Ron Takiguchi as the local government building official. Building, Fire, and Other, George Apple as the fire official. Steve Berger as the local government building official. And Robert Raymer as the construction industry member. <clears throat> Structural Design Lateral Forces, George Thomas III, for the local government uh, building. That again, please. George Thomas. George Thomas the third, correct. Um, for health facilities, um, Sharon Goey as a local government building official. For green building, Robert Raymer from the construction industry. Osama Yunin as a mechanical engineer. Brad Wungluck as a local government building official. And Ron Takiguchi as the electrical engineer. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, do you want to back that up with uh, any narrative to those suggestions, or? Pardon me. I'm you sorry. You want to give any information on those people? Sure. Why um, you think they're qualified? Okay. Um, yeah, Jay Salazar. Um, he was vice chair of the Access Committee last session. Um, he's an incumbent um, building official for Vacaville, a long-standing uh, member of Calbo has been involved with accessibility for many years um, and, and has shown his ability to be thoughtful in his decision making. So we believe he'd be a good member. Um, I, I talked to him about this position and um, he was looking forward to it. Um, Ron Takiguchi um, in the PEME. Um, Ron was the uh, chair of the PEME last session, um, showed that he has the ability to run a good meeting, um, certainly has the knowledge as an electrical engineer, um, has been a long-standing member of Calbo, board of directors, um, and again, we think he'd do an ex exemplary job. George Apple for building fire and other. Um, George is uh, a fire official um, for Elk in the Elk Grove area. Um, been involved with uh, <clears throat> code development for many years. Um, has served on other um, code advisory committees. And again, I believe he would be a great service. Do a good job for us. Steve Berger, um, building official for the city of Folsom. Um, Steve also is an incumbent to the BFO um, committee, um, broad, broad knowledge in uh, code development, both at the national level and the California level, has served on several committees. Um, again, we believe that he, he has the ability to sift through the vast amount of information that we'll be looking at and can make good decisions on, on what will serve us well. Um, Bob Raymer, um, right. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I guess it's going to be a sad day when Bob decides to finally retire. Um, anyway, uh, knowledgeable, very knowledgeable, um, good decision maker, um, has 
been a part of code development for years and years and years, and um, I, I can't say enough good about Bob and, and his ability to sift through and get to the bottom line and, and certainly run a meeting, so we support Bob. Um, structural design, lateral forces, George Thomas. Um, George is also, let me make sure I got this right. Was he an incumbent? Yeah, George is also an incumbent, so has a lot of um, experience with the uh, code advisory committees. Um, he uh, is a professional engineer, um, longtime member of Calbo. Um, again, good decision maker, proven ability to listen, to understand um, what he what he's hearing, what's before before him, and I think he will serve serve the commission well in this capacity. Sharon Goey, um, didn't realize this, but um, Sharon was from the area of California that I'm, I'm from, the, the Central Valley. Um, she was involved with Plan Check, has been involved in, in uh, building inspection, um, currently uh, took Sheila Lee's position or replaced Sheila Lee as a building official, um, recently elected to the California Building Officials Board of Directors. Um, Again, great, great listener, great uh, um, decision-making skills, um, and I think Sharon would be a great benefit to the Health Facilities um, Code Advisory Committee. Uh, Robert Raymer, again, for the Green Building Committee. Um, as somebody that, that sat before that committee in years past, um, Mr. Raymer runs a, a tight ship, um, and again, good decision making, good ability to listen, to look at what the issues are, um, and and certainly uh, warrants the support of Calbo. Um, Osama Yunin, um, the mechanical engineer position for the Green Building Committee. Um, Osama has been involved with Green Building for years. Um, he's a very dedicated individual. Um, has has done a lot for the state codes as far as the green code um, is an incumbent in this committee and um, would serve the the building standards commission well in this position um, so we we want to support osama unit as well um, brad one building official for the city of manteca um, long-standing um, code head, so to speak. He uh, shows an, a, a very um, strong ability to grasp concepts and, and to think outside the box about what he's considering. Um, Brad is a member of the Yosemite Chapters Board of Directors. Um, I've had the pleasure of working with him on several, several uh, projects, and he's a good thinker. He comes up with the right answer. Um, and would really like to move him forward in this position. I think he would serve you well in that capacity. Again, Ron Takiguchi, um, electrical engineer. Um, Ron is, again, Calbo board member. Um, I've been involved with code development for years um, and a very, very um, esteemed member of the construction community. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Mr. Raymer. Thank you, Mr. Chair and Commissioner. Uh, Bob Raymer with the California Building Industry Association, and today I'm also representing the California Business Properties Association and the Building Owners and Managers Association of California. Uh, the reason why I was so happy to let Mr. Hensel go first is that CBI, CBPA, and BOMA support everything that he just said and the individuals. And so with that, I'll try to save time uh, going committee by committee uh, with uh, a few recommendations for you to consider. Uh, on the accessibility committee, uh, for the construction slot, Michael Gibbons, I realized he served on there for quite a while, uh, but Michael uh, has a fantastic background in both residential and commercial construction. Uh, he's also wrote a number of uh, compliance manuals over the years to help us out in the field decide uh, what is a good application and what is not. 
Uh, so we're very strongly uh, supporting Michael Gibbons as the construction representative on that committee. In addition, from AIA, uh, we're strongly supporting Steve Dolm. Uh, he comes with a, uh, the strongest representation uh, that we can get from uh, Kurt Kuknick, uh, who I've worked with a long time. Uh, moving on to uh, the Plumbing, Electrical, and Mechanical and Energy Committee, uh, CBI would like to recommend Harry Mose uh, for the construction slot. Uh, Harry has uh, served on uh, numerous CBI committees for the past two decades, uh, and uh, I believe he served on PEME uh, for at least the last two iterations of that committee. Uh, in addition, uh, we also support Ron Takaguchi, uh, local government building official. Uh, moving on to building, fire, and other, uh, obviously George Apple, the fire official, uh, Steve Berger, local government, uh, myself representing uh, residential construction, and I, I think uh, you may be running into a problem not having anybody for the commercial slot. Uh, while I, I would qualify that for as well, I noticed that Armin Wolski uh, is listed uh, as uh, seeking the fire official and protection engineer slot. Uh, Armin would also uh, make a great commercial building industry representative on that committee. Was it the name again, please? Uh, Armin Wolski, W-O-L-S-K-I. Okay. And Armin was uh, particularly helpful uh, as we made the transition from the UBC to the IBC, sort of that five-year effort that we were on. Uh, he and I both served on the building and fire and other committee uh, when we got together for no less than 10 days of committee action. I think we got together the first time for five, then we did another three-day series, and then finally ended up with a two-day series. And so uh, he has incredible background in all of this. Uh, moving on to structural design and lateral forces, uh, George Thomas, a local government official, uh, and representing the construction industry, we'd like to recommend, once again, John Oglesby. Uh, John uh, had served on CBI's Construction Codes Committee uh, for <coughs> over a decade. Uh, he was sort of our structural uh, expert, uh, and we still go to him uh, quite often. As a matter of fact, as late as last week. Uh, and now, uh, moving into the Green Building Committee, uh, we basically support the, the same recommendations that Mr. Hensel did. Uh, I would like to uh, add a few to that. Uh, in addition to supporting myself for the, uh, the residential construction industry slot, uh, CBIA, CBPA, and BOMA would like to recommend the following three individuals. You, you actually have a lot of great candidates for this committee. Uh, for the commercial building industry, uh, our first choice, uh, if he doesn't get the public member or local government slot, Dave Walls, uh, if he doesn't get the public member, member slot, we'd like to see Dave Walls uh, assume the commercial building industry slot. After that, our second choice would be Ignacio Robles. I don't need to say anything about Dave Walls. Uh, obviously, his experience is, is vast. Ignacio uh, works for Consol Inc. out of Stockton. Uh, he has enormous background uh, in building uh, energy building performance. Uh, which is one of two criteria. He's also a mechanical engineer, uh, so he would fit well into the mechanical engineer or building performance specialist. Uh, Ignacio has recently done about two years of beta testing on the Energy Commission's public domain computer program, uh, something I wouldn't wish off on anyone, uh, but he did it very well. That's one of the reasons why that program is working a lot better than the non-residential program right now. Uh, in addition, Ignacio was the, uh, the lead writer on HCD's EV charging uh, report that was used as the basis for the EV ready regs that you adopted last summer. Uh, and we also recommend uh, our third choice for commercial building is Judy Schweitzer. Uh, Judy has served on uh, the Green Building Committee for the last six years. Uh, and her forte is in sort of community-wide planning. Uh, where large, very new construction uh, plans are put forth, where both commercial, uh, industrial, and residential all in the same place. Uh, Judy does a great job of green building planning for that. Under the architect slot, we would like to recommend Gustus Fisher. Uh, Gustus has been serving on the green building committee the last three years and has been great with a lot of design questions that we run into. From an environmental organization, we would recommend Walker Wells. From local building official, as uh, uh, Doug has just re, uh, indicated, uh, we're supporting uh, Brad Wungluck, uh, but we also support, of course, Greg Mahoney and Osama Yunin. 
Uh, and once again, these individuals also uh, could basically be fitting other slots on that committee. Uh, for the public member or local government water efficiency official, uh, we would like to see Dave Walls in that capacity. For fire official, once again, George Apple. Uh, mechanical engineering uh, or energy building performance specialist, Ignacio Robles. Uh, the second choice would be uh, uh, Russ King, and the third would be Osama Yunin. And last but not least, the electrical engineer or building performance specialist, we'd like to see Ron Takaguchi, uh, David Kaneda, or Ignacio Robles. And so with that, uh, unless you've got any questions, that's my testimony. Thank you, Mr. Raymer. Yes, Doug. Mr. Chair, my, my apologies, but I, I have uh, overlooked um, a couple of things here. Um, the other person that we'd like to support um, on the access committee is the public member would be Daniel Kaiser. Um, Dan uh, has been a, a longtime instructor of disability access regulations um, and has a wealth of knowledge um, in the access community. He's, he's long been a uh, participant in the, uh, in the development of access regulations and um, again is a, a very good thinker and consider um, the effect on the public when he's um, considering a regulation. So we'd like to give him support as well. Um, the, other, the other area in, in the Green Committee, if, if there is room, um, you know, we'd also give some support to Greg Mahoney. Okay. Thank you, gentlemen. And as we go through today's proceedings, will we have the opportunity, if you need additional input, to provide additional I testimony? I don't think it's necessary. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Is there anybody else from the audience who would like to speak in support? While, uh, while we're waiting for the next gentleman to come up to the uh, microphone, I did want to mention briefly that um, for those of you who are on the phone, uh, there is a 30 second delay. So if you're watching the YouTube uh, of the committee meeting, uh, turn your volume down and listen on the phone. Uh, otherwise you're gonna get a little confused because of the delay. And as soon as we finish with the comments in the room, uh, Commissioner Barthman will ask for the phone comments. So be sure to get into uh, question and answer mode and uh, you'll be called up in the order that you log into the question and answer uh, portion of the phone call. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Adler. I'm Bob Adler representing the city of San Jose. Uh, I have applied personally for the uh, plumbing mechanical slot. I don't know if that was included in the recommendations. I walked in a few seconds late, but I would like to speak for myself if that's appropriate. Go ahead. Oh, okay. So I have been uh, a longstanding member of the built community. I've worked for the city of San Jose uh, for the last 18 years. At the time I worked there, I worked at, uh, originally at ICBO. Uh, I started a student chapter back at Chabot College and became a, a, a member of the ICBO BO com community. We helped start um, the education and, and did that for years. When I went to work at San Jose, I continued uh, education there and training. Uh, I'm currently a member of both plumbing and mechanical technical committees for I, I, uh, excuse me, IATMO. I am a member of the ASME uh, A112 uh, Standards Committee. Uh, I'm a longstanding member of IAEI, uh, ICC, and IATMO. Uh, I'm part of the committee that does the workshop for, for the official magazine. We come up with questions and answers. I've worked developing tests for the uh, roll-in that went originally from ICBO into IATMO and IATMO into ICBO. There was cross-training. I've taught at, uh, at the San Jose State. I've taught at the uh, CCOP. Um, Anyway, I think the one thing I wanted to make clear to the people and to people, you know, who you're here is that if one thing can be said about me is my dedication to the community. And I wanted to portray that or present that. 
Um, this is something that I've tried to do before. I've applied before, and I'm applying again. And um, I really want to be part of this advisory group as we move forward into the next code cycle. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Okay. Adler. Is there any questions before I? Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your interest. Thank you. Anybody else from the audience? Okay. Uh, Mike, do you want to comment about open positions? Yes, thank you, uh, Commissioner Barthman. Um, while we received uh, a significant number of applications, we'd like to thank everybody for their interest in, in applying for the Code Advisory Committees. Um, even with all those applicants, uh, there were somewhere uh, near 100 applicants uh, for the 60 plus or minus positions that the committees uh, have. We still, for whatever reason, weren't able to get anyone to apply for the fire official position on the access committee or for the um, skilled nursing position on the health facilities committee. So uh, we may, after this meeting, uh, contact some of the other fire officials who applied for other positions and see if they're interested. Uh, but short of that, we will go back out uh, to request applicants for those two positions specifically so we can try to fill those gaps. So if you know someone that's interested and you want to recommend them, that might be helpful as well. Okay, thank you, Mike. Uh, we haven't had an opportunity, or the committee has not, had not, has not had an opportunity to discuss the particular applicants and uh, how to position them on the particular committees. So we're going to have to do that at this time. Uh, Commissioner Barthman, before we start, we want to make sure to check the phones for any other okay, support comments. So if you could uh, check to see if we have people in the queue that would like to uh, speak. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So I'd like to start out with accessibility. What I'm going to do is make my recommendation and then see if Commissioner Roberts will concur and uh, if she doesn't, then we'll have to discuss it. So let's start out with accessibility. And I've got uh, for architect, Jay Wisenand. That that's, works for me as well. I was looking at uh, Kerwin Lee, who is also on the uh, BFO committee, and them just switching it up. If right. If wanted to exchange positions, but. Right. Uh, one I thing I would like to comment on also is I tried to spread my recommendations out as much as possible. I have very few du duplicates. I tried to get as many people uh, into this particular system as possible. And uh, well, I think I only have three or four people that I felt were so well qualified that they'd serve on more than one uh, committee. Okay, excuse me. I'm good with Jay. Um, he, obviously, there's been a lot of support here for him as well, and he's an incumbent in the position. So. Okay. Uh, my next is the building official, is Jay Salazar, and... Uh, I agree with that one as well. Okay. And I was picking him as the chair of that particular committee. I had the same. Okay. Uh, the next one I have is connectivity impaired, and I had to move some positions around, uh, and this one is John Scott. I had him and uh, Carol Loeffler as my two considerations. So Who was the John, other? Carol Loeffler. Loeffler. But she was Loeffler. She was also uh, eligible for many of the positions. Yeah, I've so. got her on another committee a little further down. Okay, so that's fine. John Scott had experience okay. and would work well there as well. Okay, uh, construction industry, Michael Gibbons. Correct, same. Okay. Hearing impaired, Dawn Anderson. Oh, I did have a question uh, for the commission. We did get an application recently from Angela Jamot, or Jamot, Jamot. What was she looking for specifically uh, with access? She's ex officio. Yeah. Okay, ex officio. Thank yeah. you. That helps. Okay, so yes, uh, Dawn Anderson. Okay. Uh, mobility impaired, disabled, uh, Margaret Johnson. Same, I support her as uh, well. And I've got her down as the vice chair. 
I would support that. Are we considering vice chair and chair, or do they do that? Uh, no, we do both. Do both, okay. Yeah. Okay, perfect. That's they have to live with what we decide. Okay, so, do they? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, visibility impaired, Eugene uh, Lozano. Support him as well. Mm-hmm. And then I've got a, as public member, Dan Kaiser. Same. And then ex officio is Eric Jacobson. UC is Chris Adamson. Okay, so then would Angela Jamat be interested in this position as well? I think we can have multiple. Uh, I had her. Yeah, the, uh, if I can interject here, the, I think, I believe that Angela did want to be part of the accessibility committee and uh, because she is the executive director of the uh, California Commission on Disability Access, I think uh, she would definitely be a good I put her board. on green. Is that what she wanted? No, I think she wanted the access. Isn't that what she was saying, Jim? Yeah, she wanted access. access. Yeah, because of her Okay, position. I have no problem with that. Yeah. And anybody that did apply for the um, ex officio positions will be allowed to serve as ex officio representing their group. So it isn't really necessary if you select people specifically from the ex officio groups because we're going to give them the opportunity to serve if they want. Okay. Okay. Is that all right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, then we'll go to plumbing and electrical. Okay, I've got uh, Ron, Ron Takaguchi. As the local building official? As, as the building official, yes. Okay, same. And I've got him down. He was the previous chair, as I remember. We'll put him down as chair again. Okay. And then environmental energy. I've got Mike Stone. And I've got him as vice chair. Yeah, that works. Yeah. Yeah, he's with uh, NEMA and they're doing a lot of energy. I had notes on him under, I think he's also under the construction industry. Yeah, I thought this was a better position for yeah. him. Yeah, okay, yeah. that's perfect. Okay. Okay, the next one is construction industry, and I've got Harry Moose. Same, incumbent there, that's good. Okay, architect Dave Field. He was one of the later applicants. Mm -hmm. I have him as well. Uh -huh. Plumbing inspector Bob Adler. I support him as well. Hmm? I support him as well. Yeah, okay, great. Uh, public member David Diaz. I had Carrie. Or no, she was for the local water. She was water official. supply official. That's what yeah. She was. Okay. Uh -huh. So I must go to Hartford. Uh, they actually had. I have Diaz as well. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, water supply officials Carrie Pollard. Yes. Uh, mechanical engineer Edward Salzburg. Support him as well. No, the spot I was trying to find as well, looking for a first head here. Do you have him in another committee? Uh, no, I don't have him on any other committee. Okay. And then the electrical inspector is Walter Vernon, and he's one of the few that I had on two different committees. Okay. Yeah, he was also somebody that was I was entertaining in a couple different spots. So okay. Uh, ex officio, Greg Briggs, Lynn Palmer, and you see uh, Fred uh, Brack Backmiller. I have Delano Kirkish on here as well. Is that who is that? Correct, Delano Kirkish. Is he? Which was she? Uh, uh, Delano Kirkish was under ex officio. Oshpod, yeah. Okay. Did you want to put her on there, Mike? Or? 
I, I think we usually um, want to try to allow all the ex officios to serve because they're yeah. representing the agency's interests, so we want them, even, even though they're a committee member, they don't have the voting rights, but they do they have understand. the interaction yeah. with the committee. We want so. as much representation Absolutely. from the state agencies yes. as we can get. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Okay, we'll go to building fire and other. And do we get, you said you, get, you did add Fred Brock, Brock Miller in as yeah. well? Yeah, uh -huh. okay. yeah. Okay, building fire and other, the building official, Steve Berger. Same. And, and I, I have him as the chair. I've got him as the chair, right. Yeah. Good, we're right on the same page See? there. <laughs> uh, construction, Anthony Calderon. Now, he's one of the few I doubled up on. Okay, yeah, because I had him in a different spot. Yeah. So, construction, um, this is where I was considering Sadir. Or Renee Amy. Who was that? S said here, um, Agrawal. Agrawal. Or Renee Amy. Uh, I think I've got him in another position. Okay, so you said. Uh, I think I've, wasn't he a mechanical? He, yes, I think I've got him. Qualified in variety of different areas. Mechanical, yeah. Okay. All right, so you had. Uh, You had Ron I had Calderon. Anthony called Calderon, yeah. That's it, okay. Okay. Anthony Calderon. Uh, architect, Kerwin Lee. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Uh, commercial building industry, Bob Raymer. For him as well. Okay. Fire official, Justin Beal. And I've got him as the vice chair. Okay, that works. He has experience. That's good. Okay. Uh, disabled access, Carol Loeffler. Public member, Ryan McIntosh. Yeah, those both work. Ex officio, uh, Dave Castillo. Same, yep. And you see Gina Kripter. Jeannie? Yeah. Jenny Kripter, okay. And did you go okay. over registered fire protection engineer as well? Did you say that one? Did I skip one? Yeah. I think. Oh. Armin uh, Walski. Oh, okay. Excuse me. Yeah, fire protection engineer Armin Walski. Okay. And Cheryl on a different committee. Okay. No problems with that one. Nope. Uh, did you want to ask for comments from the, on the phone for these? Or uh, now that we've covered the uh, first two committees, the excuse me, first three access PME and BFO, uh, are there any comments on the phone? Uh, people who want to either support or have comment uh, regarding the selections or nominations being made. Okay, we'll go on to structural design. Uh, architect Bill Zilmer. For him. Okay. Uh, building official George Thomas. And the chair. I'll have him as the chair. God, you must have been looking at my notes. <laughs> Uh, Some of this, the incumbency, I think, is a good thing for a chair position. Okay. Uh, general contractor, John Oglesby. Same, yeah. Okay, structural engineer, we have three positions there. Uh, one is uh, Ed Grabon, how do you pronounce it? Garabine. Uh, Dave Adams and... Marishad uh, Kabador, is that close? Ketabar. Yeah. Uh huh. Those were only three applicants, so yes, I uh -huh. supported all the all of them. Okay, then a public member. This is where I've got a duplication. Is Anthony Calderon again? That's where I had him. Uh -huh. Uh, 
you see is uh, Deborah Weiler. Ex officio is Fred Turner. Yes. Okay. Let's go back to health. Architect uh, Dave Malinato. Okay. Uh, building official Sharon Goey. Okay. And I've got her as the vice chair. That works, yes. Electrical engineer Walter Vernon. Yes. General contractor Renee Amy. Yes. Uh, Acute Care Hospital, Carl Schuberman. Correct. Yeah. Uh, mechanical engineer, Sadir Agarwal. I had him there as well. Yes. Okay. Ex officio, oh, excuse me, let's go to fire protection, is Cheryl Dominich. Okay. Okay. Ex officio is. Connie Christensen. And just before we moved on to that, um, did we have primary care or specialty clinic representative? What was that again? Um, primary care or specialty clinic representative. I had John Colettis there. Uh, let me take a look here. I think. Uh, that was where there was the acute care listed here and then the primary care. Oh, I see what you and mean. So yeah. I had uh, Carl in the. I had Carl acute, Schu I had Carl Excuse in the me. acute and I had John underneath the uh, acute care primary hospital. care. Uh, Kuletis. Kuletis, Kuletis. Okay, which, which one was that again? K O U L E T S. Under primary care? Yeah, they had. Um, John and Carl under primary care both applied for that, and uh -huh. Carl also applied for the acute care. Okay. So uh, it looks okay, right. John, John okay. Was, yes. Some experience. Okay, that'll work. So it yeah. Looked like it worked yeah. well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's John Coletus, Coletus, something like that. Coletus, yeah. Okay. Okay, public member. Uh, Osar, Osama Yanner. Is that close? It's uh, yeah. Osama Yunin. Okay. And I've got him as the chair. Okay. And I support him there as well. I was just worried because I did have him as a party for Green. And uh, yeah, I know. We also have him. Uh, so the just problem sure in you... some of those areas, they they made an application where there was already an incumbent that was very active, so it was pretty difficult, and, and you wanted to get them on the committee, so that's why I was moving them around. Okay. 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 Uh, and we've that should complete that, shouldn't it? Or is uh, you see Dana Johnson. Okay, you want to check the phone again, Mike? Uh, we'd like to go to the phone again to be sure uh, if anyone has comments on the last two committee selections. Um, please go to the question and answer mode and you'll be called up in the order that you uh, logged in. Thank you. Just before we move on to I just wanted to clarify for the ex officio, there were uh, four applicants for that so we would still accept all four of those applicants and even though they're duplicating yes. committees. committees yes. yes yeah yeah okay so we'd want to support all four of them which was david diaz lynn palmer delano kirkish and then connie christensen who we mentioned okay yeah okay let's go to green uh architecture gus fisher support him yes okay building official Gregory Mahoney. Uh, 
Yes. Okay, I've got him as the vice chair. Okay, good. Okay, uh, construction, construction industry, Bob Raymer. And I've got him as the chair. Okay, for residential construction, or just general construction? Construction right. industry, right. Okay. Fort Robert, yes. Okay, then uh, electrical engineer, Ron Takaguchi. Yes. Public member, Dave Walls. Okay, so this is where I had uh, Osama Union here as a consideration as well, just trying to get him involved with um, Green, just because of his background there. Yeah, but we already put him on that other committee. Yeah, so that was... There just wasn't, there wasn't room for him in that particular committee. Okay. As I remember, what he had done is put down for the same position as... Uh, uh, an incumbent. Okay. And so there was no, no room to put him on there, so that's why I put him on this one. So you're supporting, uh, who was it for a public member? Uh, Dave Walls. Walls, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, environmental organization, Walker Wells. Yes. Uh, mechanical engineer, uh, William King. Yes. Uh, fire official George Apple. Yes. Ex officio Dana Waters. UC Thomas Lulini. Uh, government water efficiency official. Uh, Paula Keo. Yes, so, and then in, again, just with uh, ex officio, adding in Delano Kirkish and Lynn Palmer. I don't think that, uh, they, is that a... They're on the list, but they're, yeah. they're in multiple different committees this way. Yeah, I think that's a, a specific committee member, isn't it? My... Not, not ex officio. Mm, they have to be, let's see, uh, Air Resources Board, Dana is, um, Senior Electrical Engineer for Oshpod, Delano is, uh, and then RESD is the Senior Electrical Engineer for DGS, Lynn Palmer, so I believe they all are ex officio. All ex officio? Yep. Okay, no problem then. Okay, Residential Construction, Judy Schwitzer. Yes. And then did we have, uh, did you guys identify the commercial building industry representative? Uh, that, that's right. Well, I thought that was construction industry for... For residential construction industry. Residential construction industry was uh, Judy Schwitzer. Oh, this this is that position where it was... Right. Mm -hmm. Commercial building industry would be Robert Raymer. What, what was had? that again? Is that what you had? Commercial building industry was... Uh, commercial uh, building was... Uh, Richard Lunt. Did we have another one in there? I think what, on, on this one list I'm working off of, the, um, there is still a construction industry rep as well. That's for That's Bob Raymer. Raymer. He's construction industry, commercial building industry is David Lunt. Uh, Richard Lunt, L-U-D-T. This is the position that um, was inadvertently added to the members. So I think we, uh, we're gonna be looking at the commercial, commercial building industry for the position. And I think construction industry is a, not the correct identifier for the position. I don't know that there's a second. Right, residential and commercial building industry, that's right. So, and we have uh, residential identified, and then this is the commercial building industry. I guess it doesn't say building industry on it, it just says industry. What happened is uh, in the t table here where we're going off of the summary, it has a construction industry section. So I think that's what caused a little bit of confusion there. So I would support Robert Raymer for commercial building industry then. If there's no construction industry, is that, that's 
Correct, right? There's no construction industry, it'd only be commercial building industry? Well, yeah, it's, it was really there's commercial and residential, and I think the, uh, the commercial building industry one was duplicated with construction okay. building industry. So, gotcha. okay. so there are the res and the commercial, and we have those filled. Gotcha. Give me that again, please, Mike. The uh, commercial building industry, I think you guys had selected uh, Robert Raymer. Okay. And then for the residential construction industry, it was um, Judy Schweitzer. So this construction industry was a typo then? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> okay, you want to check the phone? Check the phones? Yes, we want to go back to the phone again uh, for the Green Committee to see if there is anyone interested in uh, either support or just general comment related to the nominations to that committee. Okay, you want to go through this again just to... Okay. Okay, let's just run it off again and make sure we're... Uh, Architect, Jay Wizident, building official, are we, Jay. Are we back on the access? Access, correct. Right. Uh, Jay okay. Switzer, Shout Salazar, excuse me, and he's the chair. Uh, Connectively impaired, John Scott, uh, construction industry, Michael Gibbons. Hearing impaired, Dawn Adams. Mobility impaired, Margaret Johnson. Wait, Visually, hey, not Don Adams, Don Anderson. Don huh? Anderson. Don Anderson. Yes. Did I hear that? Uh, Don Anderson. Yes. Under, under hearing impaired. Okay. Okay. Uh, mobility impaired. Margaret Johnson. Visibility impaired. Uh, Eugene Lozano. Uh, ex officio Eric Jacobson. UC. Chris Adams. Public member Dan Kaiser. That's correct. That's the one that's open, yes. Uh, this is Chair McGowan. Uh, do, would you identify the chair and vice chair recommendations also? Uh, we did that. Uh, Jay Salazar was a chair. Margaret Johnson was the vice chair. Can we seek out a fire official with perhaps, uh, we had Justin Beal that was an incumbent. He is going to be functioning on the BFO committee, but as an additional interest, or George Apple. Perhaps would be I can. They were I can. Be approached for that. Yeah, we'll canvas them, them and see yeah. if okay. if they're interested. If not, we'll we'll go out for uh, more applications. But this particular committee should have a fire marshal on it. Yes. So. Okay. Okay. Uh, next one was building fire and other. Was oh, it or PME? Is it PME the next one? Yeah, PME. Yes. Plumbing, electrical, mechanical. Okay, excuse me, yeah. Okay. Plumbing, electrical, mechanical. Uh, building official, Ron Takaguchi, chair. Environmental energy, Mike Stone, vice chair. Construction industry, Harry Moose. Architect, Dave Field. Plumbing Inspector Bob Adler, Public Member David Diaz, Water Supply Official Kerry Pollard, Mechanical Engineer Edward Schweitzer. Sa Salzburg. Uh, excuse me. Salzburg, yeah. Uh, electrical Engineer Walter Vernon, and then we have exec uh, Executive, uh, excuse me. Ex officios. Ex officio, thank you. Greg Briggs and Lynn Palmer, and UC is uh, Fred Bachmiller. And I might have missed it, but did we get a fire official on that one? It looks like there's a position for uh, Jenny Krippner. It's a different committee, I think. Is it? Okay. I don't show her on the original list. Yeah, I don't think we have a fire official on that committee. Uh, okay. 
there, there isn't a position for that there, so. Hang on a second here. No, I don't, I don't see it on there. There should be one on there, right? <clears throat> I had in my notes that uh, Jenny Krippner was interested in that. shows a fire official. Now where where is she from? <clears throat> uh, let me get Can I show Jenny Krippner as a uh, She was on another committee too. Yeah, yeah, she may be on another committee, but she asked for appointment under that committee as well. Jenny Krippner. Now we're yeah. looking at plumbing and electrical. Yes. And the fire official she's, for that? She's also on a BFO. We no, uh, also recommending her for a BFO as right, fire official. Yeah, or University no. of, she's a University of California representative of Ginny Krippner. Is that who we're talking about? That's the same one. But she was also eligible for the fire, fire official position uh, in this PMEC. She ex official, though, if she's with UC, though? She's, she's, I have, Mike, it shows Ginny Krippner her first choice is PME. That's fine. Um, yeah, she was, and she can serve as an ex officio on the BFO because she represents the U.S. Uh, UC Merced uh, system. So, uh, in that regard, I think she has interest in the University of California. She served that way last time as well as an ex officio. So, I don't see a problem with that. And she's a fire official. If she is a current fire official, then she can serve in the other position on the committee that she asked for. It shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Well, you feel she could serve then? Right. Okay. Yep. Different committee. How do you spell that? K R I P P N E R, and her first name was G I N I. G I N I. Jenny. We had her someplace else. Yeah, she's the ex officio. B BFO yeah. for, okay. Okay. for the UC system. That's kind of unusual, though, isn't it? It, it is. Um, uh, but I, I don't know that there is any conflict. It's a different committee, first off, and um, she's non-voting on the um, ex officio position. Uh -huh. So she'll be representing UC interests, but non-voting, and then she can be a voting member as a fire official for her BFO. Okay. Okay, did that finish the uh, plumbing and electrical end? Yes. Okay, go back to structural. Architect Bill Zilmer. Building official George Thomas, and he would be the chair. General contractor John Oglesby. And then we had three structural engineers uh, Ed Garabon, uh, Dave Adams, and Marichard Kedabor, I guess it is. Okay, the public mem member was Anthony Calderon. UC is Deborah Wiley. Ex officio is Fred Turner. And I believe the uh, vice chair was John Oglesby, correct? Uh, was Ed. Uh, he, Ed was the. Um, was, he was I had uh, George Thomas as chair and John Oglesby as vice chair from the first round. That's correct, yeah. I think we still need to back up to yeah, Garabon, uh, Garabon was the vice chair. Right? For this committee? Yes, yeah, structural. Okay. We okay? Yeah, I just, uh, um, okay. yeah, we're good. Okay, we'll go to health. I just want to make sure we, we missed BFO, I believe. We haven't gone back Barbara. over BFO. We were on... PME, and then we went to structural design. So we just want to make sure we hit BFO. Okay. The agenda. Okay, BFO. Yep. Commissioner Rothman, they have a question. Yes, sir. Could you come up to the microphone, please?
little new to your process. Um, I had submitted my name for health care and for access, which I'm best suited for. You've got me under structural, which I appreciate being uh, considered for the for participating in all this. Um, and I don't know how much horse trading goes on, so I simply wanted to take a few moments. What was your name again, please? Bill Zelmer. So you, you have it. me as architect for the structural committee. Mm -hmm. And I'd be more than happy to do that. Um, I'm so much better suited for healthcare or access. I'm CASP certified in accessibility, and I'm a former Oshpod guy. I work at uh, Sutter Healthcare. Um, in my opinion, a, a great fit for me might be on the healthcare committee, skilled nursing, clinical position that you still have open. Uh, the one issue here, and maybe it's why you've decided the way you have, I work for Sutter Health, and so does Carl Schurman. So we would both be on that committee if, if you go that route. So I'd want to throw that on the table. And so the, yeah, that skilled nursing was still vacant on the health committee, so he would have a spot there. We had David Molinato as the architect on that committee. Mm -hmm. um, but there would be a spot for him. Is there a conflict um, with having two, two representatives from the same business? On the uh, good question. I, I don't know. We'd have to look into that and see. I'm not sure. Okay. Any thoughts on that, Jim? Um, I didn't catch everything. The, so. He, he he's, works for Sutter Health, just like Carl Sh uh, Schurman, mm -hmm. who has already been recommended for the acute care hospital representative for health. So if we were to recommend Bill for skilled nursing where there is a vacancy right now on health, mm -hmm. they would both be from the same organization. Is there any conflict? That, that doesn't pose a conflict of interest. Okay. It's, you know, what you're looking for is the best candidate to represent the industry in that respect for that particular committee. So okay. if you have two individuals from the same um, corporation or company or organization, um, that won't, that does not make any, it's not an issue. I would, I would support having Bill then on the health committee in the skilled nursing facility as a representative there. In what's position again? As a skilled nursing facility representative, we did not have an applicant for that position, so it okay. is open. Since that one was open? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that, that would help in the post-meeting um, outreach if we, uh, if we have Bill fill that position and we can talk to the uh, applicants who applied for fire and get one of them to uh, agree to the access position and we won't have to go out for any other applications. Okay. That would be Bill. helpful. Thanks, Thank Bill. <clears throat> but, but that will leave us a vacancy in the Structural Design Lateral Forces uh, architect position. So, yeah. and, and here, <laughs> we'll here see. Good out. timing. Yes, we'll Kirk wait Kirk. for uh, Commissioner uh, Barthman. Let me ask you a question because my understanding. Oh, hold, hold on. Let's wait till the commission, commissioners are ready. Go ahead. Uh, my understanding that was that Perry Havlin was going to be resubmitting, so I'm surprised if he did not. I, I was surprised too. I didn't see his application. So can can I? Would you do me the favor of letting me circle back with you on that one and making sure that Perry is in fact out? Well, if we have a vacancy and we can't fill it, yeah, we'll do the same thing that we're going to do with the fire official and with the other vacancy that we have. Uh, otherwise, I'd recommend David Field uh, if you haven't placed him somewhere else already. I think there was a position provided for him, but we can let... We did. We did place him okay. as well. Yeah. All right. Not to confuse the matrix. I say we'd like to do double duty. Um, I think we ask enough of him already, so <laughs> unless they're gluttons for punishment. All right, thank you. Thank you, Kurt. So I'd like to reconsider our architect for structural design then. We had Bill Zelmer there, uh, but now that we're placing him on health, let's uh, take a look at the other applicants. I think uh, this is where we were starting to get a lot of applicants that um, really kind of were interested in multiple different committees. I 
Do we have Bill Worthen anywhere? I don't know that we've got Bill Worthen anywhere. Uh, no. So he would maybe be a good candidate for no. architect position on the structural design letter forces. Otherwise, all the other applicants have all been recommended for other committees. He had a lot of, he was the one that had a lot of green background as well, but there wasn't really a spot for him there. Selmer on two committees, didn't we, initially? We, we only had him on one as the architect for structural design. And we've... Okay, yeah. Placing him now. Yeah, the other one was I had was Dave Field, right? Yeah. Okay. So yes. I had Bill Worthen as a possibility for Green. Uh, if he'd be interested, uh, he had applied for structural design as an option. Mm -hmm. It was his... Uh, it was a little bit lower on the list for him, but... Looks like he's got a pretty broad history, background. Unless we want to double somebody up, we'd have to double uh, up. What about uh, over on the uh, building fire and other We've got another engineer that's, or architect rather, Bill Zilmer. Well, that's who we just were talking to, yeah. Okay. Oh, I've got my bills mixed up here. <laughs> and because we already have uh, David Field uh -huh. uh, assigned to another committee, he's on um, PME. And then uh, we have Don Anderson also uh, recommended elsewhere. appears that um, David Field, Bill Worthen, and Don Anderson are the only three of the architects on the BFO group I see here that, um, uh, other than Bill, that had a, a requested an alternate position or a, uh, a lower level position for SDLF. Um, Don was, that was her fourth choice. Bill was his fifth choice, and David was his sixth choice for SDLF. Don or David would be doing double duty if we right. assign them this one as well. Okay, what do you want to do? I would like to recommend Bill Worthen. Bill Worthen. Okay. Do you have any any other recommendations or anything else? No, I can't think of any other. Uh, How come Perry didn't reapply? 
Well, that, I think that was the question that we just had was I think he maybe intended to but didn't get his application in or something, apparently. That may be the situation. I, I spoke with Perry about this. It was my understanding he would be uh, reapplying in our letter to the BSC reflects that as well. Um, if you go down uh, the path with Bill Worthen. Is your mic on there? Yes, it is. is if it? you go down the path with Bill Worthen and he decides not to accept it, in the meantime, I'll be doing the due diligence to find out what would happen with Perry. And also, I'll, I'll try and secure you uh, other architects as well, if that's acceptable. Yeah, he's done a great job on that committee for years, so I was surprised he didn't reapply. Me too. He has, and as uh, Commissioner Roberts said, uh, you know, Bill's background is primarily in green and sustainability, so, um, you, you know, I, I want to do what's best for the committee <coughs> first before my members, as backwards as that may sound, but... Yeah. There's there's a lot of heavy lifting to be done here. And, okay. And so then, I mean, can we just well, are we able to to see if the former uh, the applicants the uh, previous incumbent what was his full name? Perry Havilland. Perry Havilland. Havilland is still interested or? Well, our application period is closed. Yeah. So if we have vacancies uh, that we still need to fill, we can go back out and ask for those to be filled. Okay. That would give. But we have chance. applicants for this one here. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, if I may, given the double duty of the other two candidates, why, if I could recommend, then go ahead and appoint Bill Worthen, and and uh, we'll see what comes of that. And uh, Jim can circle back with AIA on uh, whether we need to find another candidate to fill the void if he elects not to take the position. Is that acceptable? That's acceptable to me. I, I mean, unless there are other candidates in that pool that you are seeing that, that I'm unaware I of. I think that's, uh, we, we only have two of the candidates and they've also been recommended for other committees that I think they're more suitable for as well. So uh, I would just rather see what Bill wants to do with it and then go out to further applicants if that's the, he doesn't want it. Yeah, okay. It is heavy lifting, though. That's my only concern. Yeah, I, I'm Especially concerned with that, that as well. His background was very green, like you said. That's what I saw mostly yeah, in his and, packet. And those are huge, he, huge shoes to fill following Perry Haviland. So. It just seems since that he, he applied, I don't know that we have much of another choice other than to ask somebody else to do a double duty. Okay. Okay, so we're looking at appointing Worthing, and then uh, if he doesn't want it, then go back out. Unless we wanted to appoint somebody else as double duty, uh, yeah, either David Field or Don Anderson, as an additional, or since he's in the room, Bill Zelmer. Exactly. Does he want double duty? <laughs> yeah. For for health. For health. And for, for, uh, That's where we had you originally, Bill. Was uh, so you threw us all off here. There's your man. Your problem solved. He'll do double duty for yeah. structural design lateral That's pulses. where we had you originally. It seemed like a good fit, too, but... We can all go home. And I think, too, it would be helpful to note that, you know, in this cycle, we're going to be dealing with a fair amount of structural issues because of the IEBC issue and the move of Chapter 34. So I know Oshpot and DSA are both looking at some pretty large maneuvers regarding that as far as how they're going to format it. So your input there would, from the health facility side would be really valuable, and obviously as an architect. So, All right. So we'll stick with the original recommendation of Bill Zelmer uh, as the architect, but then he'll also be recommended for skilled nursing okay. on the uh, health committee as well. But we already had him down for two, didn't we, or not? Uh, I don't think so. I, I think this is only, that was the only two, correct, now? I believe that's all we have. I think those are the only two. I, I believe we, we've now, it was originally check here. the architect position for this, this committee, structural design, lateral forces. Yep. And then we had, came around after uh, him coming up to speak to us and recommended him for skilled nursing under health. Yeah. I don't have him any other place. Yeah. I think I had considered him another place at one time. Okay. Yeah, I had, I had looked at several options for him as well. Right. And then I think what I did was brought in... Uh, uh,
think of his name right now. So with the addition of uh, Bill to the health facilities architect position, David Molinado will no longer be selected. Oh, I'd had, uh, no, that's not right either. David Molinado would still be the architect for health facilities? Oh, uh, Molinado, that's who I had uh, initially. We, had, we were considering uh, uh, Bill for that one, and then we put in Dave Melanato. Okay. Yeah. Right, so we'd, okay. we'd eliminate Molinato then and go. No, no, he's still there. What's Bill, Bill Zelmer, skilled nursing facility representative. Gotcha. Sorry, yeah. my mistake. Yeah. He just wasn't. He just wasn't listed. We had no. Applicant. I got you. Yeah. No. He'll have two positions there, uh, on the structural, and then uh, at skilled nursing. That's right. Okay. Yep. Is that okay with you? Okay. Thank great. you, Bill. Great. Okay. What else have we got left? Yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, we did health, right? Yes. Okay. Let's go back to green. Okay. I think that's the last one. Yes. Okay. Uh, architect uh, Gus Fisher, yes. building official Gregory Mahoney, mm -hmm. vice chair, and we scratched the commercial building one. And we well, we have commercial building. We just don't have construct construction industry. Right. The commercial building. Commercial building industry is still. But either way, it's Bob Raymer. Right. Correct. Okay. <laughs> okay. Electrical engineer. It's Takaguchi. Public vendor is Walls. Environmental official is uh, Walker Wills. Mechanical engineer is William King. Fire official is George Apple. Uh, residential construction is Judy Switzer. And then ex officio is uh, Dana Waters and Anjali uh, Chimot. Uh, UC is Thomas uh, Lulini. And uh, government water efficiency official is Paula Keo. Does that do it? Yeah, and then we just still had the Lynn Palmer and Delano Kirkish uh, ex officios. Yeah, we're going to put all those ex officios yeah. on there. Any place they want to yep. be, they can be. Okay. Perfect. And you'll right. take care of that, Mike? Yep. Yeah, okay. Good. And just so everyone knows, the nominations from this committee will be put on a nominations table, will become part of the agendized items for discussion at the April 21st uh, ratification uh, meeting that the commission will have and so you, you'll get a chance to not only see who the committee nominated but all the other applicants that had applied uh, by name for those positions uh, and then if you have other uh, suggestions or recommendations show up to the April 21st committee uh, commission meeting and you can uh, have an opportunity to speak those concerns there thank you okay are there any other comments from the audience Thank you, Mr. Chair, Commissioner Bob Raymer with uh, CBIA. Uh, two things. First off, uh, with regards to the upcoming Code Advisory Committee meetings, uh, this year, a as you well know, the, the issue of disabled accessibility and EV charging stations has become rather heated. Uh, a lot of work is now going into developing regs, and uh, I suspect DSA will have a package to uh, uh, the Accessibility Committee uh, probably in July or August. Uh, that being the case, uh, normally that was a green building issue, and while it is certainly appropriate for the Accessibility Committee, because that's what it is, it's accessibility standards, uh, could there be an effort made to get to the, the green, uh, you know, the, those, you know, from the, the green industry uh, to make sure that they're aware that the Accessibility Committee will be uh, dealing with that issue? Uh, simply because chances are they don't follow that committee at all. Uh, I mean, most of us in this room certainly do, but uh, there's a good chunk that uh, those from the, the green sector have never heard of the Accessibility Committee. So just food for thought. And lastly, uh, I got a text just now from Osama. He has no idea uh, why he was considered for the Health Committee. Uh, he, he says, I know nothing about health. <laughs> so, <laughs> He's a public member, yeah. <laughs> okay. 
His experience as a building official would probably tell him. Okay. Thank you very much. The, the reason for that, Bob, is he had applied for a committee position uh, that there was already an incumbent on. Oh, yeah. And uh, so there, I wanted to get him on a committee, so that's why he's there. Thank you. I had understand he was very good. Oh. He's great. Okay. Thank you. Okay, anything else? Anything from you, Mike? No, I'm fine. Thank you. James? Uh, you're going to take uh, action on solidifying your choices? Okay. I. You, you've got to make the motion. Okay, I make a motion that we uh, solidify the uh, recommendations that we have discussed today. And, and present, present them to the, the full commission yes. at our next commission meeting. Okay. I guess I'll have to second. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I'll, if we have no more comments, I consider this meeting as adjourned. Thank you so much for coming. Appreciate your participation. And I'm special, special thanks to all the people who submitted applications. And I wish we could have picked everybody. Thank you. You know, I was...